starting at the top of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. And I want you to spread your toes out nice and wide and then ground into your heels, but also evenly press into the pads of your feet and your toes. Good, just slowly draw your tailbone down. Mm -hmm. Lift your chest, relax your shoulders, clasp your hands together, place them underneath your chin. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your mouth closed if you can. As you inhale, I want your shoulders to lower as your elbows rise. As you exhale, I want you to close your palms, lift your chest. in the back of that neck. Bend those knees, crouch down. Chest is lifted, belly in. One more forward fold. One more low, deep squat. Good, from here, reach and grab a hold of those shins. You're gonna roll onto your back, lifting your booty to the sky, and then come back up to a standing chair balance. Here we go, elbows out. Try to keep your thighs close to your chest. Roll back, booty high. Come all the way up. Chair pose, arms overhead. No arching, tilt that tail to the floor. Good, reach for those shins, roll in a ball. Maybe rise up off of those heels. Squeeze your booty. One more time, rock and roll back. And up, hold that chair belly and look forward. Good, hands to heart center, straighten your legs forward, fold. Hop or step back to a plank push-up position. You can drop to your knees if you'd like. We're moving from a high to a low push-up. Now press your heels forward 
Roll your shoulders up, down, and back into an up dog. Option here, lower your thighs and hips. Exhale, you have a downward facing dog. Hips up and back, curl those toes back underneath. Hop or step to the front of your mat, and you're gonna make your way to a seated position, rolling back into plow. I'm gonna hop forward, crossing my ankles, lower onto my booty, lower onto my back. My legs come overhead. Here is a plow. Mm -hmm. The objective of a plow is to eventually get your toes to the floor overhead. If that is hard for you, place your hands at the small of your back, bend your knees, open up your knees, may be a little easier. If you feel good with extended legs and you'd like a little bit more, lower those hands down, press the back of your arms and your palms into the floor and try to lift off of your spine a little more, off of those shoulder blades right on those shoulders. Good, we're gonna roll back, cross our ankles and hop or step back into a plank position. Are you ready? Here we go. High to low push up. Push through chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Exhale, zip up those pants, downward facing dog. Hop through to a plow. Mm -hmm. All the way back, taking your time, taking breaths where you need them. Roll back into your plank. High, low push up. Press through, roll, open up that chest. Belly and down dog. One more time. Lift that booty, drop those toes. Option, reach for the small of your back. Good, hold that plank position. Down dog. Allow those heels to settle. Spread those fingers out nice and wide. Really ground and grip into that mat. Shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Armpits towards your kneecaps, tail to the sky. Step your right foot in between your hands. Keep your back leg straight. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Crescent lunge. Feel the stretch in that left hip flexor. Feel the strength in your right leg. Lower down those hands. Downward facing dog, inverted V. Left foot steps forward, opposite side. Leg is straight on the back side. Good. We have three sets. Right side and left side is one. Back into that down dog. Left foot steps forward right in between those hands. Hips and shoulders are square. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step through, reach to the sky. Shoulders are relaxed. Final one. Good, step your right foot forward. Reach those arms up overhead, and then as you exhale, rotate to your back wall. Hands come on the outside of that right leg. Good, stand up nice and tall, top of your mat. Left foot stays, right foot steps back. Exhale, rotate open to the left. Good, step and reach back up to your chair. Right foot stays put, left foot back. Good, twisted crescent. Step up, reach. Long neck. Exhale like you're wringing out a towel. Get all of that breath out from that center. Good, hold that chair. Fold forward. Bend your knees, sink your hips, lift your chest. Arms in front. Up off of those heels, glue your ankle bones together. Good, now sit onto your booty. Mm -hmm. Extend those legs in front. It may feel better to have a small straddle. It may feel better to have a slight bend in those knees. Remove the flesh from off of those sit bones. Mm -hmm. Not pulling that flesh out, but pulling it back behind you. Mm -hmm. Legs are relaxed, 
feet are soft. Good, you're creating an L shape. Inhale those arms overhead. Exhale, your heart reaches towards your big toes, which means you may not get as low as you'd like, but that's okay. Reaching for the outside ankle, shin, or thighs. All 10 toes should be facing the ceiling. Don't let them fall in or out. Try to keep them nice and aligned. Yes, good, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, reach. Reach with your chest first. Good, now round your back, tuck your chin towards your chest, get a little lower towards the top of those legs. Nice, big, expansive breaths. Really expanding those rib cages out wide. One more, inhale, arms overhead. Pull that belly in. Exhale, fold. Coming up to a seated position, bend your right knee. Cross that foot over your left leg, keeping that right sit bone down. All I want you to do is wrap your arms around that leg. Give yourself a nice big hug. You should feel this stretch on the outside of your leg, your glute, a little bit of that hip. You may feel a little pinching, tweaking sensation in that hip flexor area right in front. So just try to relax that. Sitting up tall, not leaning back. Good, bring that right arm behind you. Turn towards your back wall. So your chest is now shining towards your back wall. Option, lowering that right foot, hooking that left elbow on the outside of that right leg, and then using that elbow, that back of the arm, resistance to get a little bit more of a rotation and twist towards the back. Turn forward, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee. So your hips are square, both sit bones are on the ground. Take that left foot, cross it over, and then give yourself a big hug first. If you're tight, you may notice you hike that leg up. Try to relax down. Mm -hmm. Option, take that left hand behind you. Shoulder down. Option, lower that left foot. Hook that right elbow over that leg and rotate. Don't lean into that hand. Sit up nice and tall. Turn forward, straighten those legs, bend your knees, place your hands beyond your hips on either side, maybe a little bit wider than you feel. That might feel better on your shoulders and then rotating those fingertips out might allow you a little bit more opening through that chest. Ground your feet, ground your hands, lift your booty, press your chest to the sky. Allow your head to fall back. Bring your head back to neutral. Lower your booty. Let's do two more. Press and lift. Belly in. Head neutral before you lower that bum down. Last one. Make sure those knees aren't flanking out. They are tracked over your ankles the whole time. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you roll up? to a stand without using your hands? Maybe. We're gonna take and roll that right shoulder up, down, and back. Your palm turns out to the side. Yes? Take your right foot and lift it, bend your knee. Now you're gonna scoop the arch side, scoop and grab that hand so your thumb is at the base of your foot. Your, the rest of your fingers are grabbing the top of your foot. First and foremost, squeeze your inner thighs together. Do you feel that stretch through your chest, through your neck, through your shoulder? Reach that left hand overhead. Mm -hmm. 
Try to keep your hips as square as possible. Don't allow yourself to rotate open too much. Good, now kick that right foot into your right hand. Do that again, kick it. Kick, squeeze your bum. Good, now kick it so much, and as you start to hinge forward, you only intensify that pressure into your hand. You'll start to feel a beautiful stretch on that right quad, hip flexors. Good, coming all the way back up, lowering that right foot down, rolling your left shoulder open, palm turns out. Bending your left knee, scooping that foot into the hand. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards your midline. Mm -hmm. Right arm reaches up. Practice that kicking sensation. You'll feel that stretch in your quad, your hip flexors, maybe your knee, but it shouldn't hurt. Good, now let's kick and then start to lean forward. Keeping that right hip stacked on top of that knee and ankle. Belly in, find something to spot in front of you. Bring it all the way back up. We're gonna do two more on either side at your own pace. One more either side, really open the chest, relax your shoulders, make sure you are breathing. If you need to reach for something like a wall or a chair for extra support, don't be afraid to do it. Press those toes into the mat, kick that foot into your hand. Inhale, your arms overhead. Exhale, lower your hands, and then draw them behind your hips. Bend your elbows. We're coming into a reverse prayer. So that means I want your pinkies towards your spine, not your thumbs. Mm -hmm. It is important to open through your chest instead of sinking into your low back. Mm -hmm. Good, release, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, lower them down by your sides, bring them behind your back. Find that reverse prayer. Push your palms together, especially the base of your palms. That may not happen yet but you're working to close that gap. One more time. Lower it down. Reach, keep the integrity in your spine by activating your core. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale, curtsy down. 